And as far as like building a looking camera, you know, I would go back into my menu and I would, you know, I would go off like this and then I would go into my, my custom pictures, you know, and that's how I would do it. And, you know, depending on what kind of scene that I was shooting or whatever, you can then, you know, your gamma curves, your contrast, you know, you've got your inbuilt looks, which is your Cine 1, your Cine 2, your normal 1, 2, 3. Mm -hmm. You've got your EOS, which is your Canon. And then you've got your um, Canon Log. And even from the basis of setting your gamma curve at cam can Canon Log, you can then go into your, you know, your color matrix, which we haven't actually looked at, which I'll quickly show you now. There's no way to get the like the Technicolor flat on this camera? I mean, Technicolor flat is basically, it's C-Log, it's C-Log on the Alexa, it's not really raw on the red because raw basically just means that you're not even recording anything, it's just pure metadata, so you can just take stuff away right. without causing any digital artifacts. Um, but what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure is that you, when you look at your image, that waveform monitor is as spread out as possible. That there's like information all across the range, like your grayscale from your whitest whites to your blackest whites. Like there's information spread out about the, across those different ranges of gray. That's what you want. When you say log and you say technicolor, really what it is is it's just your you've got your zone system and you're you're spreading your exposure out across that zone system. Mm -hmm. If you want to start, um, you know, looking at this and building a look. Um, you know, and, and making a little bit more punchy, you know, making sure your blacks are um, nice and rich and your color is saturated because what's you, what your log is going to do is it's going to desaturate your colors and it's going to put your um, exposure, your, your latitude as, as far as it can. It's going to um, capture as much information as possible. Now, interestingly enough, the C log, even though it's not pleasing necessary to the eye. If you were gonna have a look at um, the Zakuto uh, great camera shootout, mm -hmm. where they tested, you know, they took the Alexa camera as their base, and then they tested the 7D, they tested the C300, the iPhone, um, the, F30, the F65, all these different cameras. And the C-Log is actually quite saturated. Like the way that it, it deals with color is that there are some cameras that will take their logarithmic curve and they will make the colors just really, really desaturated. Whereas the saturation actually holds out quite nicely with this camera. So as far as the color, I would, suit, I would, I would personally always shoot C-Log on this camera. Mm -hmm. And then I would always just boost the contrast and stuff in post. Got it. And so, but then you need a lookup table. Or your editor needs a lookup table. Your editor will have to adjust certain image um, qualities. Yeah, like they will have to sort of like play around with your contrast and stuff. And then, as I was saying before, like if you do then play with your contrast, it doesn't just affect your contrast. It's going to like adjust different parts of your image as well. Mm -hmm. So you know, you play with one thing, something else shifts, and then it becomes. You know, and then is it is it just a pure look that you can apply to every single shot, or is he then going to have to go shot by shot? 